Hi, Matthew with F Class Community Channel here, and I'm bringing you a tabletop review uh, and a comparison of the new 21st century flash hole deburring tool. Uh, this one is set up for 30 caliber, and uh, this is what I have been using uh, prior to my purchase of this new deburring tool is the lineman. Flash, uh, flash hole deburring tool. What I wanted to do was uh, change out my system of deburring flash holes and chamfering the flash holes because I have a lot of brass that needs processing and what I'm finding was I was beginning to question the depth stop uh, with the lineman uh, flash, flash hole deburring tool. One of the things is with the Lyman flash hole deburring tool you have to set this stop here and it indexes off of the case mouth like shown here. So when it, in it indexes off of the case mouth uh, it is rather inconsistent at times. Um, it can uh, take out maybe too much um, material uh, or too, too little material in, in terms of where the flash hole is based on your cartridge o overall length. If one cartridge is longer than the other what happens is it will index incorrectly and it may not actually do any deburring if a case is longer or do too much deburring if the case is shorter. And since I have uh, a lot of uh, brass that I need to process in terms of neck turning and developing uh, uh, new loads and, and stuff. Um, what I needed to do was find an, a new system and I was doing some research online and I came across this was the 21st century uh, flash hole deburring tool and chamfering tool. What this, how this differs from the lineman flash hole deburring tool is that it has bushing which rotates and it, and the way it indexes is off the bottom of the case so technically once you hit the bottom of a case using this tool and it enters it enters the flash hole there I'll try to zoom in it bottoms off of the case and stops removing any additional material. And the way it centers itself is this is a full uh, full length sized uh, case mouth uh, run through a RCB, RCBS die and it it fits perfectly even on new brass uh, which I had been working on on uh, new preview brass so you can see in my previous video is that it fits perfectly within the case mouth and aligns right center, uh, uh, dead center with the uh, bottom of the flash hole. So when this turns, I'm rotating here, it removes all the material and stops. Once it stops on the bottom of the, of the case, it removes, it has chamfered and removed uh, material around the flash hole. Now I was curious if I was going to press harder and I was using this and I was pressing hard harder on the uh, the flash hole deburring tool itself and what I find f found was oh yeah it created a little shiny spot there and I thought oh is it is it cupping the bottom of the the brass. So I decided to take apart a few uh, pieces of brass uh, that I have lying around and I turned the, the, the tool, inserted the tool and started turning it and then once it, it does hit the bottom and it, it does stop cutting, there's no, no, no chips or anything coming out, it does leave a nice nice chamfer around the flash hole and 
what you probably see around the flash hole is just the uh, cutter bottoming me out and just cleaning up the, the area around the flash hole. So it's not cupping it so much, um, but what, what it is doing is, is it is bottoming and spinning out on the bottom and just cleaning out because there's carbon on the bottom there. Uh, it's just clean, cleaning everything out. So what I'm going to do for you is just uh, show you how this works. I have a couple of other cases I cut apart. The, these ones these ones here have not been deburred or uh, or chamfered. I'm just going to run this in and I'm just going to hand turn it. Usually the other benefit of, of this is it can be chucked up into a drill and utilized as a, a power tool. Um, you can do that with a lineman but this is more. It, this is designed to chuck up properly and not spin and rotate uh, in in the uh, chuck of, of of your case. So I'm just doing a few few cases here, and you can see that you know there's carbon on the bottom. But what it what it's doing is it it chamfered. Uh, this one seems like it's already, already chamfered a little bit, so it's not showing. Where, but it, it, it does bottom out on the bottom so you don't have any f worries or concerns about it not indexing properly and there you go it's clean cleaned it up a little bit <laughs> here's another one what I'll do is I'll roll in some shots uh, some photos of the the bottom of the the cases and you, as you can tell it it goes in to the flash hole and lines up with the flash hole quite well uh, with the bushing and the bu bushing is is floating and it rotates and once it starts stops cutting you can feel it stop cutting uh, because it rotates freely and you can see here there's some chips but the flash hole has been deburred and, and chamfered a little bit and what I should do is uh, show you guys I'm going to press in really hard just to show you that all it does is once it bottoms out and there's no more material to cut it just spins, spins freely and that is a, a, a nice little chamfer on the bottom of there you can see the reflection. So uh, so far, I mean, there's a little burr. There's a, a burr on this one that it, it works quite well. Uh, I'm I'm actually quite happy with this uh, in terms of the way it's performing. It has cut down my time in terms of time spent on prepping my brass. Excuse me, I'm. I have a cold here, but and that's just with hand turning. Um, it, I, I think once you have it checked up and it and it you have a little bit more force and you're able to press down on it a little bit more, it will kind of give it a a little bit more of a a ring around the flash hole. Uh, in some cases, if I guess the base of the 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 cartridge or the head of the case is bulged a little bit. It will remove a little bit of the base material, but that's not detrimental. Um, uh, what I'm finding is I'm getting a lot of the brass that I'm I'm deburring uh, ends up having a nice little chamfer, and it bottoms out on the bottom. There, not too many cases. I don't spend too much time holding it in. Uh, probably just a few seconds as uh, the as the uh, tool turns and you see the chamfer there and there's no burrs anymore so uh, in terms of giving this a rating I will have to give it um, at least an eight and a half uh, 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 probably a nine out of ten in terms of the way it's performing thus far, uh, the the tool 
uh, is very consistent, very reliable. Um, it doesn't take too much effort, uh, even by hand, to be able to chamfer and deburr the flash hole. And, and um, just in doing research, a little chamfer on the flash hole does help with SDs, uh, extreme spread, and uh, your standard deviations. So, uh, just wanted to show you um, a little bit of my system that I'm changing out in terms of uh, flash hole deburring. Uh, it does work quite well. I mean, it doesn't. Comparing it to the Lyman, uh, you, I mean, you're you're changing the depth stop, uh, and it's really based on the the case mouth in terms of what the overall car, uh, cartridge length is. And uh, I'm finding that uh, this is this definitely performs a lot more consistently uh, the 21st century flash hole deburring tool, and uh, uh, and removes the material much quicker um, than using the old lineman. So I may be retiring that to something else. <laughs> At any rate, uh, this is Matthew with F Class Community Channel showing you my system for uh, deburring. Uh, this may be a tool that you want to consider. I'm not saying that and or endorsing this, but it's something that I'm using and I'm actually uh, enjoying the, the, the way it performs. Uh, it's not cutting or, or belling out the, the bottom of the case. Uh, uh, I only noticed that in a few instances such as this where it actually almost looks like it polishes the bottom of the, the, the case. But uh, for the most part, it just removes the burr and puts a slight chamfer on the flash hole. So Matthew with F Class Community Channel showing a comparison between the Lyman, uh, the old system, uh, I was using to the new system I'm using the 21st century uh, flash hole deburring tool and the results that I'm getting. So remember keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.